So we are on the way to one of the best spots that I know of for squatching. Uh, it's gonna be some things to see, some things to hear. You almost never come away from this area empty-handed. I mean, you'd have to actually deliberately overlook any of it to uh, miss some of it here. Let me uh, let this little guy past. I'm going that way, you go that way. Yeah, we're all here to drive. It's okay. It's a beautiful day and it looks like it's gonna be a nice clear night. It's gonna be an overnight low of 50 degrees, which is good for the equipment and good for me. The snow will blow cold on Mount Baker tonight. Many Bigfoot footprints to be seen. A kingdom of cryptozoology and it looks like Sasquatch is the king. They'll be howling at night and screeching and tree knocking for your ears to hear. Well, the full moon adds a new element to things because then we gotta keep an eye out for werewolves. Yes. The Sasquatch and werewolf actually compete for territory. You'll see them actually fighting in cornfields, apple orchards, and Walmart. But the full moon is gonna offer some unequaled visibility opportunities. I was actually camping out one time up on uh, Glacier, Washington on a private uh, campsite was able to look out over the whole valley and everything was just sheathed with silver. It was beautiful and I tried to get a picture of it and my smartphone just picked up pitch blackness. <laughs> it happens. The Ken Hertz Trail, you know where that is? By Lake Whatcom? Okay, it's, it's a very well-known trail. There are a lot of people that go there. So one day, this uh, group of people started tearing down the path and I'm like what and they said don't go there don't go any farther well it's a it's a one-way path you know you go in and then you come out these guys were going out so I, I you know it scared me I, I decided yeah maybe they're right so I kind of hurried along not running but hurried along got to my car just as I was rolling up the window, I could hear this squeal. And it's like something I've heard. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh God, my curiosity is getting over my fright. So open the door carefully, step out. And behind me there was a big hand! I jumped back in my car and started the engine. I hope we find something this time. That squatch is so evasive. Where's he hiding his hide? No one here can love and understand me. Don't you hear the stories they all have me? Ugh, looking, looking, looking. What does that smell like? Smells. Smells like mean spirit. Could be a Sasquatch nearby. Or Kurt Cobain. I don't know. I guess I'll keep looking. Looking, looking, looking. Next thing you know, we look for hairs. You have to charge your hands up with static electricity to pick up any hairs that you get. Oh, there's one there. Oh, yeah. He was here all right. So we're gonna continue the quest. Let me uh, hang up on the call I made a while ago. And I'll talk to you folks later. Bye.